and welcome to California Geology. I will be your instructor, Robert Lopez. And today I'd like to go over the syllabus. Okay, you will go to the Canvas link here. And on this Canvas link, it should take you to a login page. And then to log in, you'll use your student ID, our course, which is Geology 15, right? Uh, winter session, section 52725. You'd select that. And then that would take you uh, to our our course page right on here I have my contact information email my office hours uh, more importantly here I talk about the two books that are required for this class uh, California geology uh, which is a textbook uh, this is the more important book um, we'll be doing most of our reading assignments out of this text the other book we won't start looking at until about halfway through the class and that's uh, when we start looking at the Sierra Nevada uh, so both of these are available at the bookstore what you want to do first is go to the syllabus. And the syllabus here, you can find it on, on the, the link here. And once you go to the syllabus, you're going to want to read this syllabus. Uh, uh, California Geology, again, contact information, textbook information up here. One of the things I've done in terms of the hardened textbook, uh, because we're going to use it right away, uh, we're going to start reading the first four or five chapters, I've provided the first five chapters for you in in a tab in the modules. So you'll be able to at least have the reading material for the first five chapters. Um, that will give you a chance to uh, order the book. If you order it this week, you should have it sometime early next week, right? And that, then you'll be ready to go for the remainder of the course. So I do have uh, some material there for you. As we go along here, uh, you'll see I, I, have, I have a syllabus quiz. In fact, let's go down here and talk a little bit about the syllabus quiz. Uh, yeah, course syllabus quiz. I've posted a syllabus quiz based on the material presented here in this course contract syllabus. The quiz opens uh, January 3rd and closes on the 5th, so it's due by this time at 11.55 p.m. on Thursday. And it's basically, uh, you want to read through this syllabus, want to look at point breakdown, what's expected for the students. I think I have a question about how many hours you're expected to spend on the course, so it's about five hours per day, right? 20 hours per week and kind of look at my logistics. I do want you to go to the West Valley College uh, e-learning homepage or distance learning homepage and you can look at some videos there. I recommend a couple videos um, and, and some um, testimonials from other students who have taken online classes. As, as we go along down here, you can see I, I've, I have the, the, the schedule. And so ideally we're, we're meeting Monday through Friday uh, you, if we're meeting face to face, we'd be meeting three hours, three hours a day um, uh, for this course, for this three-unit lecture course. But you can kind of see what I have broken down here. Uh, what's going to be important for us is really this exam schedule. And then the other really important part are these assignment topics and their due dates. So you can see, uh, since we're moving along pretty quickly here, plate tectonics and minerals. The first uh, couple of chapters there, or at least. Um, part of chapter two because chapter two also covers rocks igneous rocks metamorphic rocks and sedimentary rocks but you'll find uh, that this work all assignments related to these two topics are due on Thursday the 5th and then you can see that I have igneous rocks and volcanoes California volcanoes California young volcanoes sedimentary rocks metamorphic rocks all this material will be due on Sunday, January 8th. So there's quizzes, there's little tutorial exercises you go through, some discussion posts. So in uh, fact, we'll, we'll look at those. So you'll see that most of the assignments are either due Thursday or Sunday nights. Thursday or Sunday night, Thursday. And I only change it here at the end because uh, the last week, since a course closes on the 26th, but I'm really giving you through the 27th, note that I have uh, the due dates for the first part of the week on the Wednesday, and then I have all assignments due Friday, Friday night on the 27th. So you can see here that I do have the assignment summary, uh, material that's due on January 5th, then material that's due on January 8th, and you can kind of follow this along uh, for the remainder of the course. All right, so we talked about the syllabus. The next most important thing, or actually probably the most important thing for this course, are where is all the material? All the material uh, are going to be in these modules. So you'll click on this modules tab, and in the modules tab, you're going to see all the information for this course. And you can see right away that I've that I have uh, one module, 
California textbook. So remember I, I said I'd have uh, chapters one, two, three. Um, we don't really do chapter four, but I have chapter five here. Uh, and then that's just the, for the textbook. But then you can see for uh, plate tectonics chapter one, which is due January 5th, I have material on here. And then you can see I also have material for for minerals, which is part of chapters two. There's some mention of minerals in chapters six, seven, eight, so there's only a few pages yet you can look at there. But uh, you can see that this is also doing January, January 5th, and then we'll move to igneous rocks, uh, and then volcanoes. Again, you'll have to follow the deadline. So um, remember here, uh, for each module or, or topic that I present, there will be a learning guide. And so when you click on this learning guide, this, this, this will be the assignments. This will tell you the information you need to know for this particular uh, work. So for Thursday, January 5th, this is what you need to do, right? And so that means that when you look at the information in this module, you're going to have to uh, go through my online lectures, right? And you can see I have various lectures. And so these are important. You want to take notes on these lectures because I have, uh, for each topic, I'm going to have a series of study questions that I use uh, to write the exams, all right? In fact, I've already have the exams written, so you'll see uh, that the answers to those study questions in preparation for exams will come from my lectures. So uh, each topic will have anywhere from four to six lectures, uh, each about 15 minutes or less uh, in length, so you can watch it um, in shorter periods of the time. But this covers all the material for plate tectonics, so you'll definitely want to look through all of this and take notes. Let's go back to uh, that module. And so uh, once you go through the online lectures, taking notes, you'll see that there are these study questions. And when you look at the study questions, this is where uh, uh, you can use those notes you've taken from the, the online lectures, from my lectures, and then answer these study questions. Because I literally uh, will take questions from these study guys for the exam. So if you can answer these study questions, uh, you, you'll be in good shape for the exam. Now let's go back to uh, these module pages. So again, because we're in the winter session and we're doing this pretty quickly, you'll see that uh, many of these topics are, are due uh, back to back, either on Thursdays, uh, that's Thursday, this will be uh, Sunday the 8th, here's Sunday the 8th, and then um, and the sedimentary metamorphic rocks are also due Sunday the 8th. And then we have exam one. So anyways, Kind of reviewing a little bit, the most important page or link are these modules, because in the modules is where I present all the information. Again, going back to chapter one, you can see that besides my online video lectures and study questions, there is a reading quiz based on chapter one. So you read the material of chapter one and you take this quiz. And then I also have uh, uh, another quiz based on this, this, ge this geode tectonic animation. So you'll go to this geode uh, animation, watch the videos there, uh, take some notes there, and then take the quiz based on this assignment here. And then obviously you're going to post to this uh, discussion forum. You want to make sure you also reply to somebody else there as well. And so that's kind of the beginning there. Uh, California geology is going to be broken out into the physical process, processes and eventually we'll get to to um, the, the processes that involve uh, the different provinces of California. So you'll see that each chapter in this book is going to be broken down into, um, into a specific geo, what we call it, we call it a geomorphic province. And that just means that uh, each one of these provinces is outlined by some geologic feature, whether it's a, um, uh, whether it's a fault line, uh, a, a series of rock types, right? We're not going to be able to get to all of these provinces in this in this course because um, we just won't have time. I mean, there, there's quite a bit of detail to them, and, and also we're going to be spending about three to four, well, actually about four weeks uh, on on background material just to understand the geology of California. We need to understand the processes uh, uh, of geology, origin of magma, plate tectonics sedimentation, metamorphic rocks, and identification of minerals, right? Uh, but we will get through a number of these. Um, one thing I want to do before I, I end this, uh, our little introductory talk here, is I want to just mention that California has um, a state mineral 
There is a state gem, uh, a state fossil, and the cat and the state rock. So you probably know some of these, right? So let's um, uh, let me let me show you the first one, which is pretty cool. The first one we'll do the the California state rock, and I have the state rock right here. This rock is called serpentinite. Serpentinite is actually a metamorphic rock, and it has an unusual origin. It comes from the the ocean, from the deep oceanic crust. Uh, actually, rock from the sea floor somehow is now here in California and makes our state rock. So uh, the tectonics, the origin of this rock is really uh, 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 quite amazing. It's a green rock. Sometimes it has this mottled color like you see here. Um, slippery. Um, in fact, uh, recent studies have shown that this rock occurs deep within the San Andreas Fault Zone and may be a reason why we see a, a, a motion on the fault called a, a creep motion. So anyhow, um, uh, serpentinite, California state rock, rock, metamorphic rock. Then um, we also have a state fossil. And so the state fossil is right back over here. My friend uh, Smilodon. So Smilodon is a, uh, a saber-toothed cat. Smilodon californicus is a, is a full genus and species. But uh, this animal uh, uh, was around walking here in California. Um, uh, as little as about 11,000 years ago, right? And so uh, quite an amazing creature. So uh, California state fossil, Smilodon. And then we'll put this guy back over here. And then our, our state mineral, well, in fact, our state mineral is gold, right? And I have a little bit of gold here, or what we call it is gold ore. And, and there's little, little gold seams in here. We'll put it down in here. Maybe you can see the little gold in there. And... Um, uh, I don't have a really nice big piece of it, but if we zoom in a little bit on this, you might be able to see some of that gold in there. So there's a gold, California. Uh, so when we do the Sierra Nevada, we'll, um, there's, a, there's a nice expression of it right in there. Um, we'll talk quite a bit about the, about the origin of gold and how it got into these quartz veins, right? And that's one of the places where we find them. And we'll talk about the difference between plaster mining, which is uh, uh, panning, and then the, the load mining, which is actually going down and getting this hard rock, so you have to go underground. And then finally, the last mineral, which is pretty interesting, is, um, well, actually, the last um, part of California here that I want to discuss is the state gem. And the state gem is called benitoite, and it's uh, quite precious. It's a barium titanium silicate. And um, uh, if you look on eBay and look for benitoite, it ranges in a variety of prices. It can be quite expensive. Um, uh, found that, in fact, it's found in several places around the world, but only in California does it form nice gem quality crystals, right? What I'd like to do is see if I can turn down the lights a little bit here, because Benitoite has an unusual uh, uh, fluorescence. Under shortwave um, uh, light, let's turn off the big light here, it's going to give a, an unusual uh, 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 fluorescence, where basically the black light's going to excite the mineral and so in this in the, the the wavelengths are allowing an emission of light here. So benitoite is quite unusual. In fact, one way to find benitoite, uh, if you're hiking around the coast ranges looking for sources of benitoite, what you'll do is you often prospectors take one of these black lights with them, going around in the dark and seeing what they find. And um, who knows what you'll find? But benitoite, a California state gem. So just tend to summarize what we what we have here. We have the the state mineral, which is our gold, uh, the benitoite, which is a state gem, uh, uh, Smilodon californicus, which is our state fossil, and then uh, serpentinite, which is our our state rock. So there you go. Um, well, anyhow, again, I'll welcome you to California Geology. Uh, I'll have more of these little online lectures. Um, I'll have a series of them beginning uh, really on Monday for Play Tectonics. Um, and more importantly, don't forget about the, the syllabus quiz, uh, which will deal on reading that syllabus, plus knowing the state fossil, the state rock, state gem, and the state mineral. Anyhow, we'll see you next time.